What's happening people is James Beardwell, the Whitton Town supporter here and welcome back to another Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Whitton Town are at home to Walthamstow in the Isthmian League North Division. I am super positive and really excited for the Whitton Town home match against Walthamstow and we're currently fourth in the league, still unbeaten in the league. 1-4, drawn 1, lost 0 so far. But we won't get carried away because it'll be a long way to go in the season. But I am super confident Whitton Town will have a much better season in the league this season. And still unbeaten for Whitton Town in, in the league so far. I'm super positive for this afternoon. We can win against Walthamstow which Walthamstow are currently 10th in the league, which I think they're on a good run as well. But as for us, for Whitton Town, I believe we can go through unbeaten in the league. But um, if the consistency's there, we can do it. But it won't be easy because the Isthmian League North Division is more competitive this season and anything can happen in the league for some teams. But... I am super confident Whitton Town can win as many, many games as possible in the league. Still unbeaten. And we as Whitton Town supporters are feeling the buzz already for this afternoon to get behind the Whitton Town players and the staff. And especially for our Whitton Town manager, Gary Kimball, as always. I'm really excited for this game today. I'm really excited. Got my full singing voice already. I'm super excited, super positive for this afternoon. And I believe Whitton Town go through today's win. But it won't be easy. But if the consistency's there, we can smash the league this season for Whitton Town. And and like like I said, if the consistency's there, we can we can even win the league this season. But it won't be easy. But I know it's a big ask. To win the league, but if the consistency is there, we can do it. We can win the league, and we, and like Alfie said, if the consistency is there, we can smash the league for Whitton Town. We can win the league for Whitton Town. But like I said, we won't get carried away because we've got so many games coming thick and fast for Whitton Town this season, and we've got some away days to look forward to for Whitton Town this season, and. I'm super excited, I'm super positive, and I believe Whitton Town have a really good season this season in the league, because last season it was, it was really, really tough, because we were 14th in the league last season, but we are going for the top four for Whitton Town this season, which is the playoff places, and but I know this league will, won't be very easy, but if the consistency's there... We can even win the league, like I said, but it won't be easy. But our main aim for Whitton Town in the league is to finish in the top four in the playoff places. And now I'm about to be on my way to the Whitton Town Football Club to get ready for the Whitton Town home match against Walthamstow very shortly. Up the town! I'm currently now at the Whitton Town Football Club or Breakfast Club and I've got the usual full English breakfast to fill me boots all ready for the Whitton Town home support against Walthamstow later on this afternoon and now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. I'm currently now just finished my breakfast at Breakfast Club up at the Whitton Town Football Club and I'm now just waiting for my mates of the main fellow Whitton Town supporters to arrive to do the pre-match thoughts, half-time thoughts and full-time thoughts as always and let's hope it'll be a fantastic afternoon. Up the town! Are you looking forward to the game today? Yes, uh, we're going to see this. It's a real cuff tough game um, Wolf from Stowe always apply themselves well um, they're very difficult to beat um, they're a, a really big team and we need to react uh, have a positive reaction from um, the other night and get back to winning ways in the league and keep our unbeaten run going James thank you for your time and enjoy the game cheers mate 
Hi Gary. How you doing, Jake? Good, thank you. Looking forward to the game yes. today? Hope we can do better than we did from Tuesday, mate. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Thanks. Hi guys. Hey, mate, you all right? You looking forward to the game yeah, today? How are you? Excellent. Can't wait. Yeah, excellent. Enjoy the game. You are, James. You looking forward to the game today? Yeah, buzzing for it, you. Yeah, excellent. Enjoy the game. And you. I'm now with the main fellow with some town supporters, Callum and Leon. Come on, uh, afternoon, people. Good afternoon, and it's going to be tough against Walthamstow, but we are on the good run in the league. Still, un still undefeated, and we won. We won four, draw one, and lost zero in the league so far, but. We're not going to get ahead of ourselves because we've got a long way to go in, in the league season because they've got some good competitive teams in the league. But but we're on the good run in the league so far. But And like you said, if the consistency is there, we can beat anyone. Uh, yeah, obviously we're going to have to play a lot better than we did on Tuesday night against Brighton XC. Uh, mm. The second half in that game was better, but the first half wasn't great from us at all. So obviously we need to play a lot better than we did. but. You know, Wolves, so they're not one of the best sides in the league, but they are, they're sort of lingering in mid-table. So we know it's going to be a hard game today. We can't can't get ahead of ourselves and think the game's going to be easy because, you know, mm. you can't think like that. But we know how tough mm. the game's going to be. But if we can perform like we did, you know, like we did early on in the season, like against Brightling Sea and like we did against Felix, though, we can win the game. It's just whether we can put in 100% today. Yeah, Tuesday's game against Brighton Sea Region, we, it was a really poor first half, conceded two goals in five minutes. It was a poor first half, but the second half, there was lots of positives in the second yeah. half, but we've got to do better this afternoon yeah. against Walthamstow. Yeah, there was some positives in that second half, but, you know, watching that second half, Brighton actually just dropped off the gears a lot. They didn't really do anything, so I felt we could have probably gone and capitalised on it, but, mm. they, yeah, they weren't great second half, but... So much similar to last season, they obviously Brighton City thought the game was already won. We could have gone and probably nicked another goal, but mm. you know, in my opinion, it's you know you don't get any money for winning the, in that cup. So even if you go on and win five or six and then get beat, you've got you don't get any money. So I suppose we, it's a good kind of a good thing. We can now focus on the importance of the league. Yeah, we've got to focus on the league now because like because we are. We are going for the top four, but it won't be easy because like, I know last season we finished 14th in mid-table. It was a tough last season, but this season we're, we're in, in the role at the moment, but it's still a long way to go in, in, the, in the league season. But, and like we said, if the consistency, if the consistency is there, we, 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 can go, we can go on to like, be in the top four, hopefully. Yeah, we, we, we really need to wait till after Christmas. Mm. Uh, 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 to see if we can make top four. Um, for us to make top four uh, by Christmas, uh, we have to be um, um, at least in, in in the top half of the table mm. by Christmas. Yeah, you, you're definitely right because you have to wait and see what happens after Christmas. But we, yep. we had a we had a good good league run at the moment, still unbeaten in the league, like one four drawn one lost zero so far. And um, but like. It won't be easy against Walthamstow because they're going to be up for it against us, and yeah. they got they got a lot of their fans there as well. And um, but if we bounce back to winning ways after that poor game on Tuesday in the cup, but we're just going to forget about Tuesday. Got to focus on this afternoon. Definitely, yeah. That um, we've got to really put on the show for our supporters, and um, if we want to like do well in the league. Yeah, obviously he's pointing about being up there at Christmas. Obviously. That's kind of the, the benchmark around Christmas time. You sort of around December, January, you sort of know who's up there and who's not because this early on, you could a team could go on and win ten games in a row, mm. and then they could end up losing ten, and then they could be back. You know, it's chopping and changing around Christmas time. It would sort of know who's going to be in the top half, who's going to be in the bottom half. Yes, obviously we know things can change because any team could go on a, a mad run and win ten in a row or twelve in a row and go and beat fifteen. And any team could lose six, seven, eight in a row. So, but yeah, at Christmas time, if we're in sort of in and around ninth or tenth, I think that'd be perfect. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Callum? Uh, can't call it today, so I'm going to go for one-one. And what's your score prediction, Leon? I'm going to have to go two-one. I'm going to be positive as always, um, but I know it won't be easy. But if the consistency is there this afternoon. I'm going 3-0 Whitton Town. 
Thank you, James. Thank you, guys, so much for your time. And can we bounce back to winning ways to get all three points? Come on, Whitton. Come on, the town. Come on, Whitton. Come, Come on, Whitton. Whitton. Come on, the town. I'm now with the Whitton Town kids people and the main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Laura. All right, James. How you doodling? Yeah, good, thank you. And um, it's going to be a big test against Walthamstow because I, I know they're 10th in the league and we're 4th in the league. Still unbeaten in the league for us and won four, drawn one and lost zero. But, but like we said, we're not going to get carried away because we've got a long way to go in the season. We've got some games coming up thick and fast of on course. the Saturday and Tuesday. But if the consistency is there this afternoon, I believe we can win today. Yeah, if we've got the right um, mentality, you know... We got to forget about what happened Tuesday night. Mm. Move on. This is a cup. This is a league game now. Mm. You know, as you say, we're unbeaten in the league. If we carry on playing like we have done in the league, then why not? We we can win this today. Mm. But obviously, we have to carry on playing like we have done in the league. Um, you know, okay. In second half on Tuesday, yeah, we looked positive. Mm. Great goal by Josh again. Um, so. You know, we just got to keep carrying on as we are, aren't we? And I'm sure, I'm 100%. sure, you know, as you say, by Christmas, we'll know whereabouts we're going to be, don't we? You normally, you normally judge it at Christmas time, don't you? Normally, um, yeah. So um, I, I can, I can just see us up there, James. I really can see us up there. So we just got to keep playing how we have, we have been playing in the league, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, we've got to wait and see what happens this afternoon, and um, but we've got to do better against Walthamstow this afternoon, like. If we want to compete in the top four this season, we got to like win as many games as possible. Of but course. it is a very competitive league this season. Mm. Like, um, got some competitive teams in the league. But if the consistency is there, we we can beat anyone. Of course, we can. We can beat anybody on the day. It, that proves that by you know the teams that we have beaten already. But there, there is, there's no team at the moment that we, we go, oh wow, because everyone seems to be having an up and down, don't mm. they? You know, but we're doing so well in the league. We mm. say we're unbeaten, so you know, you know, we, we just have to see what happens. But we've got a lot, a lot of games coming up now, haven't we? We've got Tuesday, thick and fast. Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So you know, we've just got to keep the best the team fit. Team fit. You know, do the do what we need to do in the first half, and then maybe rest some of the players in the second half. And just stay positive and just keep going. Mm. But anything can happen today, James. Anything can happen. Yeah, anything can happen because we've got some tough games coming mm. up and like like Berry Town coming up yeah. next week. Oh. We've got a tough game coming up, but Roxham Tuesday night. We've got to be there to support the team. Yeah, of course we are. We'll be there, won't we? Yeah, looking I'm looking forward to it. I do love away games. I don't know what it is. There's something about away games that really gets you going, doesn't it? It is it's good fun, isn't it? So it's good fun, yeah, especially on the way day. It's really, really good. And and we've been to like new places like Cambridge City and oh, one away. Oh, and, that one, um, yeah. and that was out on the vlog as well, yeah. away at Cambridge. That was a great win for Whitton Town away at Cambridge was. City. And um, a last minute goal and um but we've got some games coming coming up thick and fast and um You just but... gotta remember a game lasts ninety minutes or however long the ref wants to play. So we just have to keep playing that whole ninety minutes and however long as say injury time is because like it just proved that you know, against Cambridge we scored in the last knock ins, didn't we? Mm. Um so it does prove you just gotta keep going and going and going and not give up to that whistle's mm. blown. And it proved at Cambridge and that's what happened, so and we got the victory and I did I was reading in the uh, local paper a great um, all about us at Cambridge City, at Jim mm. had done. It was brilliant to see us in the in the local paper, and quite a big spread about us. You know, it's lovely to see. You know, just get behind the team tonight, today, and um, let's get the three points wrapped up. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Laura? I'm going for a three-one win and win. Brilliant. Got to be, isn't it? Optimism. That's great to see. And, and you, James? What's yours? Three 0 with Yes, the sound. get in, James. Get in. That's what I like to hear. Thank you so much for your time, Laura. And can we get all three points to get back to winning ways? Come, and on, come boys. on, the town. Come on, the come town. Come on, the town. I'm now with the main fellow Whitton Town supporter, Paul. Hello, mate. You alright? Good, thank you. This is a big test for Whitton Town against Walthamstow, but I know we did really well in the league so far. Still undefeated. 1 4, drawn 1, lost 0 so far. And we we had a flying start in the league, but. But like we said, we're not going to get carried away because we've got some games coming up thick and fast and um, we've got some tough games coming up soon. And um, But if the consistency's there, we can beat anyone. 
Yeah, you're right. We've made a really good flying start, haven't we? We've, uh, 15 points from like 13 available. Really great start. Good position in the league. Uh, playing well as well. Good players that have settled in nicely. So mm. another big test today. Walthamstow didn't have a great start, but have come into a good patch of form. So it's going to be a big test for us. Let's hope we get a good performance and a good result. Yeah, after Tuesday, Tuesday's game, it was a really poor first half against Brighton Sea Region. And then the second half, there was lots of positives in the second half, but we've got to do much better against Walthamstow if we want to compete in the top four. And like, if the consistency's there, like Alfie said, if we get the consistency in the team, we can even win the league. If like, it's, Sometimes you've got to be optimistic and be positive. Anything can happen. Yeah, quite right. Uh, I think Gary was forced into a few changes on Tuesday because the side had only played on the Sunday before. Uh, so he only had basically two days turnaround. So the players would have been tired and you know, risking injuries. And the last mm. thing you want is a player going out injured for a long time. And it was a cup game. Uh, so our focus has always got to be on the league. So, um, mm. yeah, uh, big test for it today. But, yeah, if we can get a run of good results going like we have at the beginning of the season, you're, you're quite right. I think the consistency is the key to it. Last year we had some really good performances, beat a really good few teams and then some of the sides who were lower down in the league we struggled against them lost. So yeah, we need a run of form where we're consistent and we get some results and we can string a few together. Definitely, we need a good run in the league because like, if we want to compete in the top four in the playoff places, because our aim is to try and get in that playoff spot this season. But like but we've got some games coming up and it's going to be a tough game like next Saturday because we've got Barry Town away next week so um, that'll be a really tough game but but who knows we can beat anyone but it's like um, I think the final third we need to still work on at the moment because we play some good football so far but it's the, it's the final third we still need to work on and also with the consistency. Yeah, and I'm sure Gary will just be saying to the players, concentrate on the next game. When you start looking two, three, four games ahead, then you sometimes lose your focus on the next match and you can trip up. So I'm sure he'll be saying to the boys, today's the next cup final we're playing and go out there, give it a really good performance. And we know we've got the quality, we've got the good players who can beat any team in the league, like you said. So um, yeah, if we put in a good shift and a good performance, I don't think we need to fear anybody in the league. But it's focusing on the the game coming up rather than looking too far ahead, I think is the key. 100%. And now we're coming to the score predictions. What's your score prediction, Paul? I think uh, he'll change the team again today. So it's probably going to be uh, a different side than played Tuesday. So um, uh, I'll go a 1 0 Witten win, a, a close one and a bit of a squeaky bum one. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm going to be feeling really positive as always because I have the full belief in this squad for Witten Town because. We had a really good start in the league and still unbeaten. And I believe the, the players will have the full belief to put on a really good show for our supporters and us. And um, I'm going 3 0 with some town. You've got to be, love it. Yeah, excellent. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. And can we get all the three points and bounce back to winning ways for Wheaton Town? Yes, hope so. Up the town. Come on, town. Thank you.
That's a great throw in. Well done, right. Let's say, Abby. Oh, We're going to score in a minute. Score in a minute. We're going to score in a minute. In your net, it's going in your net. No, no, no. Finish! Finish! Yes! 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 One nil, we're town gainer. Gainer pool! Yes! Yes, Callum! Yes, Leon! Come on! What a start! Come on! Come on! Go, Josh! Where? Come on! Come on! Good ball. I lucky. Come on. Don't foul. Well defended. Corner to Wolfley Stowe. <laughs> Same. Get up there. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Oh, lucky. What a Harry. Just wide. Good tackle. Is that Anton Matthews? What play, Anton Matthews? Go, on, Josh. Go on, Josh! Go on, Go on, again! Anyway. We'll just have to talk really loud, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> well defended. Still with it. Come on, Whitam. Well played, Abby! Corner to Wolf and Stowe. Good defending, good defending. Hey! Oh, we still got it, still got it. Oh, it's out now. Go, okay, hey! Come on, Sal! In your net! Come on, Witton! Oh! Oh, he's gone out! Hold up! Hold up! Yes! Yes, come on, Sal! Oh, Cora! Oh, Tiki 
Another corner! Go on, Josh! Go on, Josh! The half-time score, Whitton Town 1, Walthamstow 0, and here we got the main fellow Whitton Town supporters, Callum, Paul and Leon. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Guys, it was, um, it was a really good first time playing some good football, but um, we got the goal, we won it up, and like um, the lads have been super, it was a lot better than Tuesday, but... Um, how do you think the first half would bring? Yeah, I thought the first half, it was very, very good for us. I thought we played a lot better than we did on uh, Tuesday. We know, obviously, they've got two two really big players in their team. So, mm. if they can start, if Fulham Snow can start putting in good deliveries, I think we could could be in trouble because those two players are, you know, they're very tall and they're mm. a lot taller than a lot of our players. So, they have, if they can put a good ball in, then we might be in a bit of trouble. But they haven't yet. And we've, we've, we've been the better side, so hopefully we can get a second goal and kill, kill the game off while we're in control of it. And what's your thoughts, Paul? Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, I think, they've, like Callum said, the boys have done really well, changed it up a bit, different team to Tuesday, but I think you know, Gary will be pleased the way that they've sort of controlled the game. The Waltham still haven't had much of an opportunity, but Callum's right, they've got two big lads there, and I think they'll be looking for a set piece. They haven't created anything, but all it's going to take is one set piece or one corner or some good delivery. It's always going to be nervy while it's 1-0, so I think we need the second goal to make it a bit more comfortable. But I think Gary will be pleased with the way they've sort of controlled the match and a really good performance from the team. What's your thoughts, Leon? Um, uh, my thoughts on this um, um, of the first half is um, it was a bit 50-50. Um, we got the early goal, the only goal in the match so far. Um, uh, penalty shell um, down at the other end. Um, that is most definitely a penalty. Yeah. Um, um, there was a challenge that um, uh, Kingy did um, um, by halfway. That was 100% a yellow. Yeah, he didn't get a booking. Unfortunately, that's the problem with the refs. They're so inconsistent. Like, obviously, we could it, we say in our oh, it balances out because he got both wrong for each team. But in fairness, yeah, we should have had a pen, but Kingy should have been booked. So that's the problem. They, you know. We obviously annoyed that they got it wrong, but in, it should have been a pen and it should have been a yellow. That you know, I don't think. Obviously, people look at it and say, "Oh, well, he's got one wrong for every team." It's not the case. It sh he should have got those decisions right, and he hasn't. But the problem is, we complain all the time about the refs, but they're not going to change. Any good refs will get skyrocketed up into into better leagues. You know, we start caught with the not the greatest of refs, and that's the problem. We complain all the time, but. It's every game we're complaining, so it just shows how inconsistently bad they actually are. It's not just the odd mistake. Every week, we can, every week the referee will make one mistake or another. But no, obviously it's been a good first half for us, and yeah, hopefully we can carry on in the second half. What's your thoughts on the first half, Paul? Yeah, good performance, I thought, by the boys. I agree with Callum there. I think the frustrating thing with the officials is you wouldn't mind if there was a bit of consistency in the decision making, but he's giving like silly little things uh, and stopping the game. And yet, from where we were, that looked like an absolute nailed on penalty all day long. And I can't see what he's possibly seen there that make him think that the guy's got any sort of contact on the ball. Josh has got no reason to go over there. He's in a good position unless he gets uh, taken out. So I don't know what the ref has seen there. So frustrating because those yeah. sort of decisions can change games. But uh, yeah, good performance, I think. They've controlled the, the game well in the first half and if they do that in the second half and we can get another goal, it'd be a bit more comfortable for us. But yeah, the thing as well that's annoying is, as we were saying, that had that been one of their players who did, who, 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 did, who fouled a player like Key did, well, we'd obviously be complaining that it should have been booked. So, although it's, I suppose it's good that he wasn't booked, it's still still frustrating that you know he's been that inconsistent. Because he, as you said, I saw the, 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 uh, the penalty back on the footage and it was a clear penalty he didn't get a touch of the ball but no apart, apart from the ref it's been no, I mean, a good good first half but um, very inconsistent and I'm surprised he, uh, he hasn't got his uh, walk and toe shirt on yet because that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, who's the team he seems to be sort of favouring because we obviously didn't have the penalty which is you know clear as day but no good first half and hopefully we can carry on in the second half and kill the game off because as we know later on Wolverhampton will start coming out and they'll know they'll need to go. They'll put a lot more pressure on us. 
how you know that they're, they're obviously they're looking at set pieces so they're going to be looking come 70 minutes if we've not got the second goal they're going to be looking at thinking get a set piece and we can nick, nick a goal so if we can sorry if we can carry on like we did in the first half to the second half controlling and dominating the game then we will um then we yeah we'll comfortably win the game we just need to get that killer goal thank you guys so much for your time and can Whitton Town get a second goal and and get all three points and come on the town come on the come town, on the town! We, are the town! We, are the town! we are the town we are the town we are we are we are the town we are the town we are the town we are we are we are the town we are the town we are the town Oh, I'm not king. Go on. Oh, I'm not king. Who's up there with him? Good ball! Good ball. Yes. Oh! Whoa! Oh. Everywhere we go! Watch a mighty Whitam! Put it on the show! Whoa! Oh. Everywhere we go! Go, Josh! Go on, Josh! Go in the post! Come on! Well covered, well covered! Hey! Go on! The ref 
just went to the lino and then he gave the goal for Walthamstow. The referee's just given the Walthamstow goal. The goal was given. I mean, the full time four. The full time four. Exactly, yeah. Oh my days! 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 Two ones to Walthamstow! And now we're two one down now! What two one down? Come on! Come on, get back to it! Come on! Well done, Harry. Well done, Harry. Come on, boys, come on, come on, come on. Heads up. Heads up, boys. Heads up, boys. Heads up. Heads up. Head up. We go again Tuesday. Head up, mate. Come on, we're in Come on. What arm? Well Heads up, come on. Heads up. Well done, Gary. Heads up. Head up. Heads up. Heads up. The full time score Whitton Town one, Walthamstow two. And here we got the main fellow Whitton Town sports, Callum, Laura, Leon and Paul. Hello, mate. Hi, James. <sighs> to be honest, I do not know what to say. Uh, we've been 1-0 up in the first half and then we concede the equaliser. But when I don't know if the ref gave the goal, that 1-1, one, one, because we thought it was cleared off the line. And then um, the second goal, it was like, I don't know, but it's just, it, it, it came off our keeper and then like... I don't know what to say at the moment. Uh, no, let's be honest. We were the better team. Walthamstow offered absolutely nothing, but came away with two goals. You know, it's frustrating that we, we didn't win the game, but we didn't take the chances we had. Had had Josh's shot near the post, had that gone slightly to the other side, he could have snuck in, and that could have been two 0 But yeah, it won't. You know, it's frustrating when you lose things. But as we've said, you know, we got choose the bounce back from you sometimes you you lose the game where you dominate in, in so it's it football isn't it it's football yeah, yeah it's football yeah it happens and we just have to move on now we've got a couple of days to recover and then we've got yeah Wroxham at home on Tuesday so another chance to, to put things right against against Wroxham we're again a bit tough game but I think you know if we play what we did today we could we could beat, beat Wroxham with ease we were just unlucky with the uh, two goals every single game is like a cup final in the league because like I know the unbeaten run has come to an end now, so um, but we just got to like dust ourselves into the next game on Tuesday. But um, but we we got to bounce back to winning ways on Tuesday. But um, I am gutted with the result because like um, but I mean I was really gutted with, with, with the result, but like um, but somehow like we can see the last minute defeat and then like um, I don't know what to say at the moment. Yeah, uh, you get games like that sometimes, don't you, in football where the best team loses and I think that's what's happened today, we were far the better side, created the better opportunities uh, and then sort of towards the end of it we lost it a bit, didn't we, our heads went uh, and if you have to be in a situation where if you can't win the game make sure you don't lose it and I don't think we did that, we sort of went to pieces a little bit 
I've never really, I don't think, seen a game of football quite like that. Um, you don't I don't think it's fair to say. Yeah, I mean, from the yeah, the sort of topsy turvy nature of it, I've never seen a game officiated like that. Um, it's difficult because you don't want to say too much about the officials, but I've never seen no. a performance quite like that. So it's difficult to take because we were the better side and we lost. Yeah, I'm bitterly gutted with the result because I thought we was going to hold on to the one 0 win, and then like. We said it during the game, like 1-0 is a dangerous scoreline because opposition teams never give up, which they never gave up, and then like, um, and then we could see the second goal, but like, we need a second goal to kill the game, but it, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't to be I don't, know, I don't know how they've come away with three points there. They were, again, I said it about Cambridge, but I think they, these probably the worst side I've seen all season. They hardly offered anything. They one set piece in the first half that could have went in, and yeah, let's be honest we should have won but as we said that's football you don't win them all you, you, you lose some exactly but, yeah you know we have to move on now to Tuesday night we've got uh, another good game against Wroxham at home so we need as many many fans here as possible but yeah we need, to, we need to forget about this now mm. you know and move on we've got bigger games coming up it's just one of those things we lost but you know we've got a chance to put it right on Tuesday what's your thoughts Leon my thoughts um, officiating I have no comment on um, but our performance in the second half we did the best as we can. We gave absolutely everything on the pitch, um, yeah. but it wasn't to be with the score line. Had Josh's goal gone in, that would have been 2 0, that would have been a different different, different score line. So, yeah, that, obviously that just narrowly hit the post. But, yeah, we had the chances to kill the game off and ultimately we didn't take them. But, you know, we all know we should have won the game. But, yeah, we have to move on now. And I know, we'll bring yeah. Bring on Roxham on Tuesday, you know. At this level, sometimes like, you've got to take a chance, like chance after chance. but. If you don't take the chance at this level, you're going to get punished, and, and we got punished in, a, in the second yeah, there's half. There's a prime example of that. We didn't take our chances, you end up losing. So if we don't take our chances, you know, you're not 90% of the time you're going to get punished for them. But yeah, disappointing. But as we've said, we've got bigger things to look forward to mm. now. So yeah. We've got so many games coming soon, thick and fast, and we've got that tough trip to the Berry Town next week. But um, we've got to be there to support the team. 100% home and away and we always got to be there to support the team and through thick and thin like we are and um, but we've got other games to really look forward to yeah uh, what do you think oh I'm just I'm in shock to be honest I'm just I'm just gutted that we lost to be honest same you know, it, it, we, we yeah. had control of that game and you say Josh hit the bar should have had two clear penalties we just have to move on to Tuesday night, don't we? Yeah, yeah we've got to move on to Tuesday. We have to forget but... about today, don't we? Yeah, it hurts more though when you've yeah. played that well and you've got nothing for it. It hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. The way they celebrated today, they've I mean, won the, the league. The way, they're oh. the way Wolf from Stowe was celebrating, they, they like they've won the league. Yeah. I don't think they could believe their luck, to be quite honest with you. That's probably why they, they rode their luck. They offered absolutely nothing they and they came away with three yeah. points. Yeah. That's, That's probably why they're so happy because they didn't expect to win. There's no way they should have won that game. But, you know, it happens in football, did it? It's in the books now. We've just got to look forward to Tuesday. We're still up there in the league. We've got, you know, we're still yeah, up there. We've got two, blips, aren't we? we've got two games in hand on. It's a blip. Yeah, two games in hand on some of the teams. Well, actually, I think we've got three. We've got Tilbury's coming up midweek, Mildenhall, and then Roxham on Tuesday. Three games in hand. You know, it's one defeat, but it's not in the grand scheme of things. It's not going to be a costly defeat right at this moment. We've got so many games now to put things right. Yeah, if, throughout the season, every team has a bit of a hiccup, and that was. Mm. Less of a hiccup and more of a great big burp where some sick came up. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, 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 it's just one of those games. But you know, one, you know, every team, as you said, every team's gonna have a little bad game, even the best teams, even even Barry, the probably the best team in the league, gonna have a game when he's yeah. gonna play terrible. So well, let's hope it's next Saturday. <laughs> yeah, fingers crossed. Although we don't, uh, we don't seem to do too well when we go to uh, Barry St Edmunds. But no, next week I'm looking forward to the trip. So yeah, Same. hopefully, hopefully you get Roxham as well. Get that out of the way Tuesday, and then it'll be a good trip to Barry. You know, a nice area, nice fans. So yeah, a lot of positives to look forward to. We need to dust, dust That's ourselves up, move on to Tuesday. Forget about this result, yeah. you know. And yeah, we're going to have better games than this. You know, better results than this. You know, and sometimes you want to play really badly and still come away with. With points, so we just, you know, we were the better team and we didn't get get anything, nothing to show for it. But yeah, we move on and yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Tuesday now under the floodlights. Thank you guys so much for your time and we go again Tuesday night and keep the faith town. Come on, the town! Come on, town! Keep the faith!
I'm now with the another fellow Wixford Town supporter, Lewis. How you doing, James? You right, mate? Good, thank you. I don't know what to say at the moment because, like, like James, isn't it? very split. disappointing. Like, we was 1 0 up yeah. against Walthamstow yeah. because, like I said to the other fellow main Witten Town supporters, 1 0 isn't enough because, yeah. like, opposition teams never gave up, which they did. But, um, but we tried to go for a second goal yeah. to kill the game, but, but it wasn't to be, innit? No, it's football for you, James, and you have to move on sometimes and mm. just focus on Tuesday and go again. Bounce back, it's football. Yeah, it happens in football sometimes because, like, like Callum said, we can't win them all because, no, like, um, because sometimes you win some and lose some, and like, sort of like, like you said, we now got to move on to the next game because we've got some more games coming up thick and fast, and then we've got the trip to look forward to next Saturday away yeah, at Bury Town. That would be a tough place to come, but who knows? Football, definitely, yeah, because like, we need the. The consistency to make sure like to try and challenge for the top four but yeah. um but like if we want to be in the top four we have to be more consistent yeah i'm sure about that james i'm sure enough we're doing all right in the league but we have to move on from these sort of things as football so yeah. josh did superb up front as always and he was very close to like getting the goal but he smacked yeah. against the post oh, in, yeah, in Nothing to do about it, it's just unlucky. But we, I'm sure we'll move on, bounce back, win Tuesday, hopefully win a very town, and we go again. One of the Thank you so much for your time, Lewis, and we go again on Tuesday. Up the town. Up the town. So here you go. I'm absolutely gutted with the result, but sometimes, like we said, it happens in football, but we just now got to move on to Tuesday's game now, and we gave absolutely everything with the Witten Town support throughout the whole 90 minutes and um, but sometimes like you win some and lose some but like we've got many games coming up thick and fast this season we, we got like games on the Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday every week this month because like we've got loads of games coming up thick and fast in the league and um, and then we've got the trip to look forward to next Saturday away to Berry Town next Saturday. But um, but I, I feel gutted for the lads. That I'm really gutted for the lads because like we was one nil up in the second half, and then we, we were trying to go for that second goal, but it wasn't to be. But um, I'm gutted for the lads because like when we when they equalised. I think I don't know if the referee was given the goal or the lino given the goal, but um, but the goal was given when he made it one-one. But then all of a sudden, in the last kick of the game, we can see the last-minute defeat, and I was really gutted. And we're, so was all of our Whitton Town supporters. We were stunned. We were absolutely gutted with the result. But um, I feel sorry for the lads because, like. Sometimes it happens in football, unfortunately. And now, like we said, we've got now got to move on to Tuesday's game, and the game is done and dusted. And now we move on to the next game. Hope you all enjoyed today's Whitton Town FC match day vlog. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment down below on my YouTube channel, James Beardwell. Whitton Town's next match is at home to Wroxham on Tuesday, the 8th of October. Keep the faith, Whitton Town.